Hello and welcome. My name is Brittany Hogan and I am the founder of Nefertim, a holistic skincare company whose mission is to inspire daily reflection and growth. Now, normally we talk about a proverb or a quote or something uh, inspirational, but I decided to switch it up today. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how we infuse our herbs um, into jojoba oil that we use in our ailments herbal joint cream but I thought maybe you'd be interested. So here we go. Now these have been steeping for approximately eight weeks. There's a combination of turmeric root, white willow bark and yarrow flower in here. And then of course it's covered with jojoba oil. Now every day we give it some love, we give it a good shake just like this. You can see the herbs then infuse within the oils and it really um, brings those plant compounds in deep within the oil they, they get extracted in and saturate the oil with those wonderful benefits and i've got a second i i, I use a priority uh, mail label to to label it we'll just turn that around you don't see that all right so um we give this one a, a good shake as well so those are both for ailments so the first thing that we're going to do is set up an already sterilized glass uh pyrex container with cheesecloth and um I'm going to open this. Good thing it opened easily. <laughs> Sometimes I really got to get the big guns. I call my husband downstairs. All right, so I'm just going to strain it through. I go slow enough so that it can get through. Sometimes the cheesecloth gets a little clogged because there's a lot of little fine particles in there. So we'll see how good we can get it. And of course, I want to get all that good oil out of there. So I'm just going to hold it upside down for a while. I might even fast forward this so you don't have to sit here watching it drip. Fast forward. Okay, so it's done dripping. Um, we've got, I'm sure, a little bit of oil left in there. Um, we're just going to let it drip out some more. And I'm going to take this second jar because it's the exact same recipe. So all the oil has been steeped for the same amount of time. It's the same herbs, the same jojoba oil. So I'm going to do this one too, and we'll see how much we can get in the jar before it clogs up on us. Sometimes when it clogs up, we just have to start over with some fresh cheesecloth. And that's that. I'm kind of having to hold this cheesecloth over here. It's quite heavy. So the cheesecloth is about at max capacity right now. So I'm just going to unclip this, kind of squeeze it up. I mean, hold it up so I can squeeze it real good and we can get all that good, good oil out of there. Uh, Ask anyone who's used our ailments, they'll tell you how, how they like it. We've got some people, they use it as an all over the body moisturizer because they've got aches and pains everywhere. Um, we have some people who just use one jar a year on their, you know, single knee or both knees and uh, can't live without it. And of course we have sample size available online as well. And I know I'm taking a while to squeeze all this good stuff out, but we don't want to waste around here. So that's about all we can do. I'm going to toss this. If we had a big enough garden outside, I would be composting it. Dreams. One day. That'll happen. This I'm just going to rest right in there. Do the same thing I did before. Clip it to the edges. So when the fluid gets in there, it doesn't sink much. Okay, so I finished uh, squeezing it out so that um, you guys wouldn't have to sit there waiting for that process. And now we're done with the strainer. Let me set up some paper towels over here. Now, the reason why it's so high yellow like this, I can just show you on the, on the paper towel, 
is because we have turmeric root in there, which gives it a really pretty golden color. Now, um, when we make the ailments herbal joint cream, what happens is we add a um, large amount of blue chamomile essential oil. So this high yellow with that rich blue makes a nice bright green color. It's really fun. Um, so if you ever order it, expect a yellowish green uh, thing. So we actually use 10 ounces. So I'm measuring this out since I'm melting the oils right now to make a batch. With this COVID stuff going on, we've had to wait a lot longer than normal to get our supplies in. So we, we ran out of stock of our ailments, which normally we do not, since that's one of our best sellers. Um, and it was just slightly over. So, but now we've got uh, what we need. I'm fixing it up. It does take a full week to make the ailments. Once I do the first process of melting, um, I actually let it sit and essentially kind of cure in a block almost. And then, uh, then we do our blending, our mechanical blending, I should say. But I can't give you away all these secrets. But ailments has a lot of love in it. Perfect. Now this extra oil, of course, is just as good. And I will put it in this, this all also already cleaned uh, container. So that way we can use it for the next go round. Since it's already been infused, well, and you can see there's a little bit of herb whatnots at the bottom, but it's been infused. So this can sit as long as the shelf life of the oil, and in this case, it's jojoba oil. So, but I wanna get to the next part right quick while we still have some time. And that is creating the oil. So you can see that good. Yep, 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 okay. So I wanna push tear. Our recipe calls for one ounce of yarrow. This is yarrow right here, dried chopped yarrow. So I want to get one ounce in the jar. That might be what we have here. That would be perfect, wouldn't it? Oh, no, oh, okay. A little extra. Wonderful. So that's one ounce of yarrow. Then we have dried turmeric. I push tear. I'm going to do another one ounce of dried turmeric. Whoops. And it takes a lot less turmeric than it does yarrow because yarrow is light and fluffy. And then we've got white willow bark. I'll show you what that looks like. Let's see. There we go. It actually looks like bark. Push tear. Let's get this in here. Okay. All right, we're done with that. And then we take the jojoba oil and we make sure it's completely covered. Usually I can fit about 20 ounces in here. Now don't judge me with this next one. When I have a whole fresh container, I usually spill a little bit. I don't mean to, but the little blup, 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 blup. Makes it spill sometimes. Whoop. And hey, look at that. I didn't spill. I didn't spill. Okay, now we need our cap. Of course, I will label and date this. We close it up nice and tight. Give it good shakes every single day. Of course, our little blessing. Bless these ingredients and fuse them with love. Guide them as they transform into remedies from above every day. All right, so I hope this was fun for you. You got to see how we infuse our herbs um, and to make our ailments herbal joint cream. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye.